No, I didn't. Careful with your feet, because uh, it's all slick. Today we're exploring downtown Dallas to find the secret skate park built under this bridge behind us. And right now, here comes a train. On top of that, I have a list of skate spots I want to check out today. It is a Friday, and if we can't skate them today, as in if security comes out quickly, we'll come back on a Sunday. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. I think I've definitely found the right bridge. Oh, shoot. This does not feel right. I see so many tents. Oh, no. You can see remnants of the skate park. Like, it's still there, technically, but they've, like, taken that specific area completely. And I even saw a skateboard over there and there's also like a, oh, that sucks. I think it's fair to say that we found it, but I definitely don't want to pull up a camera and be like, hey, I'm just gonna film all of this. Hope y'all don't mind. What extra sucks is not only did I find a video of someone skating it, but I found extra stuff there. There was like quarter pipes and they were kind of building their own things. So I thought it had expanded, but I guess the city took some whacking at it with a sledgehammer or maybe just people did. Spot number one of five is actually tucked away into the shade. It's this manual pad. It's up the curb, down the three stair. I have a feeling we're not gonna last long, so I'm just gonna jump straight into the session. I got the boot, but it smells like pee, like a lot of urine, so. I'm glad to get out. As much as I like skating around a downtown environment, like just this feeling right now feels good. It's a little sketchy when you're by yourself because you just have a fancy camera, you're setting it up, but I feel like I'm gonna get quick sessions in, so it really doesn't matter. And the first spot is literally a block from this garage. The next spot is what seems to be a perfect ledge. I'm gonna wax it a bit because it does look like it's drying up, but every other ledge here is skate stopped or has cracks in it, but you just have this one good ledge at the end for whatever reason. Strangely, the video I watched of my friend Eric Coons is where I got all the skate spot ideas from. In the same video, cops actually sat right next to the ledge as well. So I don't know if the cops are actually telling me to leave or if that's just literally a place where they pack up their bikes and stand because, you know, skating in the city, I get why I shouldn't be doing it, but they didn't say actually anything, but they were in the way. So we're gonna walk over here and see if we can skate these little things in the water that I've seen. And yes, that was a guy throwing his cigarette at me, being like, I thought you said you had a light. And I was like, no, I never said that. And then he threw his thing at me like, well, you know, like it was very jarring, but uh, yeah, I hate, hate things like that, but I'm trying to be more like Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, where I empathize with the enemies. I'm like, you know what? I'm sure you've had a rough day. The next spot is literally right here. It's what looks like the most perfect eight stair ever. And there's a security guard just standing at the top so it's not gonna happen or he's actually leaving like he's literally walking away so i'm just gonna walk over here for a second and then when he's out of sight i'm gonna walk back so he's walking away but it looks like there's someone in the front who's ready and willing to kick me out so uh future reference i think on sundays this eight stair is good to go probably less traffic as well it looks really fun uh but for now we're just gonna go across the street because apparently right here there's something else that's kind of skatable the only thing worth skating is this five stair but it has this crack right here. Plus this area right here doesn't feel like the uh, safest for me to plop up my camera. So I'll try a couple tricks just right here and yeah. I 
it's not my fault the birds didn't come. I went twice, Ashley was sowing the seeds, but it was like, you know, by now there should be birds and there are no birds and I feel really bad. There's someone sitting right here. I don't know if they work here, but this stair set, this is the one. It's like a three and then a six stair. And now a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the best website to build other websites. You don't need any design experience. If you are a creative and you're trying to have a job in your creative industry, a website is an amazing place to build a portfolio and actually start building a stronger connection with your audience. You can have an email campaign. You can set up a blog where people can comment and like basically your own little social media universe. And you can have online courses that you can sell through the website as well and they're adding new things all the time new features that can basically just be a all-in-one website inclusive thing and that's why I love using it and it's also where I sell all my products I always use Squarespace especially now that they link up with third-party sites that can actually distribute product for you that you sell on the site it's an amazing tool check it out link in the description down below you can get 10% off your first purchase or domain by clicking the link or go to squarespace.com slash John Hill or you can just go to the website and try it out for free and see if you like it and see if it works with your creative niche thanks so much and enjoy the rest of the video since the ground is gravel you got to go way faster than you think you do all right let's see if we can get a kick the first try before anyone comes out that's the crappy thing about having a bag i couldn't just like run and throw it down and try it because i still had to go up to get my bag so i just had to admit defeat and be like can i try it one more and he was like well because you're filming no and i'm like well nothing i can do about it i can't just go so these ledges across the street technically the same building but they look so spicy from where i'm standing if we see that guy again we'll run or walk away but for now, I mean, these are so good. Never mind, I think it is the same security guard. God damn it. Oh, well, my bad. I literally thought it was a separate building, my bad. Oh, it's all one, man. Yeah, I got you, no worries. We've already been through like seven of the spots, which means we need to come back on a Sunday. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't really wanna skate downtown anywhere, like especially a big city like Dallas by myself. It just feels uncomfortable. I think just that initial first spot too was like, you know, if someone tried to take my camera stuff, I could try as hard as I could for them not to take it, but there's a chance they could, or they sneakily took it. I don't want that. This last spot actually seems promising enough. It's a six stair with perfect run up, not great landing, but there's also this curb over here you can grind. And there's this full pipe that I can just loop over and over, AKA it's not possible because of that. Seems like we always end up on stairs somehow because I love them, but I have four tricks I wanna to try to end this off because I can already feel my calf kinda of getting tired. My legs are starting to cramp a little bit. It's like, I'm kind of ready to hone it in. So four tricks I wanna do, tray flip, nolly flip, fakie flip, and switch frontside flip. Tricks I've been practicing a lot recently and I feel like, you know, if I were to commit, I could do them fast. But in the streets, it's always a little scary to get past that mindset. Also, the wind is going with us, so it's gonna be hopefully a lot easier. So let's start with the nolly flip. Could have landed a first try. It's really rough ground, so you want to make sure that you land proper. That one felt really good. Okay, let's do the fakie flip. That seems like a great second. Could have landed first try. I would have committed. Second try commit. Yes, second try. The only thing scary is the landing. Like when you go to commit, your brain kind of thinks like, I could fall, which you shouldn't be thinking, but it's a possibility the ground really grips you. So now I'm gonna try a 360 flip. It's one I don't do off and down stuff, but I had this vision in my head of how to do them better. So I kind of just want to try it out. So 360 flip. This is gonna sound so pathetic, which I'm okay with. You see how this is really lit up? Like the landing and run up, it's like super bright. 
Well, it's because the sun right now is being eclipsed by this building right here. So right now, this stair set is actually in the shade. You see the difference? Bright, shady. So I'm actually just gonna try the tricks here, even though the angle really isn't as good for this one. I just had to like test it out and see what it felt like. I don't know how I landed it with that delay in the middle. It's funny because that, that dude was like, can I film you doing a trick? I was like, yeah, I'll do a 360 flip because it was good warm up to actually try it down the set. And then I did it that try, which I'm really stoked on. But I think the light is actually coming this way. So we only have like four tries on a switch frontside flip to be like in good lighting. So hopefully I can commit third try. Switch frontside flips, I'm just gonna start committing. right before the sun completely interfered and ruined it. Four tricks down the six there, actually hyped. We did get a lot of tricks today, even though we kind of dealt with a little bit of tomfoolery, lots of kickouts, a few angry people. We still got a really good session in. I'm actually super juiced on how today turned out. And I think I'm gonna head to the car just so I have a clear state of mind before wrapping up this video. We've made it out of the downtown. These are all the spots that were within the same block. I only made it four blocks from the actual parking garage. That's how many spots surround a small area. That's why downtown areas are so good for skating, but not the kind of places I really like to spend time. It's a little too congested for me. It's hard to find parking. I think most people, even in Los Angeles, where I was living at before, going to actual downtown LA was never like the fun thing. You always kind of want to be around the outskirts and you can find other spots there, especially because there's a lot of security and so on in the downtown areas, but I still had a decent time. I wish the first secret skate park spot would have worked out better but there actually is another skate park built like two hours away i'm going to visit in another one of these videos coming up that they built that's just like really sick and they built it in a neighborhood and it's actually legal i think but stay tuned for all the videos tuesdays and thursdays i hope you did enjoy this one and every monday and wednesday on my second channel i'll link it down below but i hope you enjoyed i must have been tired i forgot to say take care progress daily and keep killing it